stand by Amnesty International. There's been a lot of vague stories coming up, but it was clear for all to see that definitely there were thugs that were being sponsored to disrupt the peaceful protests. And in addition to that, we saw the military and the police that went shooting. Did they, did they switch? put forth um, a live coverage of that. And apart from that, over time, we saw so many other um, videos that were released. And that actually tells us, as against what the governor, with due respect to himself, has come up over time with several stories. His first narrative went that he never had any hand in it and he didn't call in the military. But today we saw the reports of the military that they were invited by the governor upon the governor's orders. However, none was, no, no shot was fired at the civilian. But we still need to get to the root of this. Someone must have given the orders somewhere. Someone must be held responsible. And it's about time for justice, because without justice, there will be no peace show. And it's about time. I myself suffered greatly during my senatorial and governorship campaigns in the hand of the SARS people. They were involved in attacking the oppositions, which, of course, I was in opposition in, uh, in the uh, SDP. And apart from that, they were physically present to rig the elections in Kogi State. But as of today, with the several petitions that have written, not one police, uh, not one SARS uh, officer, of course, members of the police force, was arrested. So, but again, I would like to draw your attention to this. While I was going through the Police Act, I, know, I stumbled upon a very important point in Part 2, Section 4, which stipulates the duties of a typical police officer. First duty is to prevent and detect crime. The second duty is to apprehend offenders. The third is to preserve law and order. The fourth duty is to protect lives and property. How can the protection of lives and property, which is the most important function of the policeman, be listed as item four in his duties? And that is why what we have in the pol uh, coming out from a typical police officer is that aggression, trying to fight crime, suspecting every innocent citizen as a criminal. That's the fourth. Should have come Should first. be the first. And that is the problem. So when we talk about reforming SARS or reform, uh, ending SARS and reforming the police, that is that, just that section. It needs to be revisited mm. because, you see, it's always about the first in time. The first is oh, in priority is always the most important. That's what kept, keeps being hammered. And then the third is upholding, preserving law and order. That means for every police officer, you don't know what the order can be. If the order is shoot, now that sh order to shoot comes before prevention of lives and property. So that uh, section four of the part two, which stipulates the duties of, must be revisited. Please. I bet when we announce a situation, when we announce a situation, we not talk to make everybody can't go and do the situation. Because when the crowd don't too much, problem go constant on a day. May we chill now. Take a chill pill, guys. Take a chill pill. We are here. We are not tired. We are going nowhere. Pill. We are now. If you have a car and you can turn on your light, please turn on. We are already working on the light. But don't panic. Don't be afraid. If you sit down for one place, if you see person where one run from behind, just hold the next person, make the next person hold the next person, let the next person hold the next person. It's a chain walk, nobody can break it. And then there won't be stampeding, there won't be crisis. The girl, where, where in Jamaica, where we announce, we don't carry and go to hospital. As we announce and make it for those people there with us, they don't they treat the girl. So things are working. All right, now, I'm not work first. See, we good citizens of Nigeria. We good citizens of Nigeria. We get to they organize when we put ourselves together. They they misrepresent us. May we clear them. So may we not run, may we not shake, may we not scatter anything. Not steal anybody thing. See, if you see anybody, oh, see that boy. We have somebody see for now. Everybody, before you know them, person don't gather, they don't give up, they don't give up. Money will even pass the phone when you see. But nobody if you see for nobody there yet to contribute. Me as a day and now, I don't get any cover again. You know what's in the apple. So an idea here like this, I don't know what well, since, since yesterday I never eat and I don't care. I don't do what I do all right. Nothing do me. God my strength. There is a cause. We are running that cause. And we must win the fight. We must win the battle. We are yet to win. We are not yet to retreat. We are here until we are attended to. So let's not get distracted. Let's be focused on the goal. There is a goal. The purpose why you left home. If we don't achieve that purpose, we are failures. Because our government are failures, we will not look like a failure generation. Of which we are not failures. We are winners. We are giants. Keep that in your spirit and walk like a giant. For once in your life, be sincere. Take care of the next person beside you. Don't push anybody.
blockchain. Let's stay organized. Let's stay organized. If you know, say you lose your key, just come from backstage. I want that key. I want that car key. If you have locked your key, come behind the backstage. Say, okay. The person defining key. I own that. Okay. I own that. Greater Nigeria youth. Greater, greater Nigeria youth. Greater Gogo. Greater Gogo. This is a lamb of Ezioza. Oh, my lips. Oh, my lips. Oh, my lips. Oh, now I do go with this show. Now I can't really give you so. You know, we don't have a move. We don't have a move. Oh, yeah, what's come up? Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. Anybody. Anybody. Why want to spoil this place? Now can something. <laughs> okay. I beg. Make you not spoil this place so that they don't go knock you something.